Hello everybody, I'd like to introduce a couple more chainsaws to my collection. I just bought uh, four saws today for 150 bucks. I think it's a pretty good deal. First one is this David Bradley. It's a gear drive. 360. It says cuts any angle, any position. I think it's got about an 18 inch bar on it. No chain. Well, uh, seems like it's in pretty good shape. Let's try the other side. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, too. There's a plate on it that says that it's powered by a Tecumseh engine. So it's pretty good shape. Pulls over. It doesn't seem like it has very high compression. But uh, we'll see if it runs. There's the first one. David Bradley 360. It says, looks like it has a 50 or 56 or something on it. I don't quite know what that is. It's too worn off. Let's see what it says. And this also has a very interesting sort of an Art Deco pull start handle. It's pretty neat. I don't think the oiler works either. It doesn't doesn't move. And the second one, which I think is really cool. I have never seen anything like this. It's a uh, solo, but it says it was made in Germany. So uh, you know, there's you know there's German writing all over it. The camera's not picking it up. Kind of a cheap camera, but anyway, you know it looks like a huge cylinder in there. Really huge. Now it's pretty hard to pull over. If I get a flashlight in there, I can't see anything. Anyway, big cylinder, like an 18, 19 inch bar. This thing is really heavy. Nah, uh, see here's a Klein Motorin GmbH, Stuttgart, Germany. Nah, uh, never really seen anything like this before. Direct drive. Looks like a 404 chain. This thing is really cool though. Really hard to pull over, but it doesn't seem like it's seized. It just seems like it's really high compression. And uh, unfortunately, most of the instructions are worn off here. But an oiler, the oiler works. So this will be a fun one. This will be interesting. Those are my two new old, super old saws. And the two newer ones, I got two home lights. This one weighs an ounce compared to the other ones. This is a home light uh, 150. This is in really good condition. 150 automatic. So starter is a little, a little, uh, I guess it's a little sticky or something. Nothing you can't fix. Looks like it's got a 3 8 pitch chain on it. Uh, anti kickback, it seems, with these little anti kickback things, whatever you call those. I got like a little homeowner saw, I guess, is what this is. Really light. I don't know if I, I was con contemplating not buying it, but it, you know, I think the lines are really cool on it. So I bought it. Really good shape chain is almost brand new as well. And uh, that's almost like my uh, my new steel here. Actually this feels almost a little bit heavier. This is what I use all the time, steel MS-180C. Got a skinny little low profile chain on it. But uh, I guess that's the that little home lights, the older version of something like that. And here's the last saw. This is a home light 360 automatic professional. I don't know why it's professional, but it says professional on it. So I guess it's professional. 
it seems a little sticky. You know, the recoil doesn't work quite right and the throttle's a little st stuck. I haven't looked at any of these. I just got home buying them. I'm really excited about them. But it seems like th this this one may be seized. When I pull it, it's, it's really stiff all the way through. You can't really feel each pop of compression. So what I'll probably do is uh, take off these... I guess it would be... No, maybe these screws. I don't know. Whatever screws you need to take off, take off the muffler. And then through the muffler, past the muffler, you can see the cylinder and piston, maybe I'll see if it's scored or something. And if it is, I don't know what I'll do with it. You fix it up, sell it for parts, who knows. But I still bought it as a group group purchase. This one and these other three. And uh while I'm showing you my old my old chainsaws. Here's the first one that really started my addiction. It really is an addiction, these old saws. I don't know what it is. I'm taking it apart. See, it's missing a couple of crucial components there. Gas tank, carburetor, bar and chain. This is a home light zip. Really nice saw. Pretty big. Pretty loud. You know, I just bought two new custom chains for it. Custom uh, cut to length. It's a 404 pitch. 063 gauge, full chisel, um, square ground. They didn't have a round ground, so I got square ground. I might grind it around it when I need to sharpen it. Then I'll have a chain grinder. I made this cool little muffler for it. It's actually not a muffler, it's just a straight through exhaust. It's obnoxiously loud. Anyway, this is the saw that started my addiction the, gate, the gateway drug, the great gateway chainsaw. I just got two new air filters and a carburetor kit for it. So once I get this run and this all taken care of and painted or whatever I want to do with it, some other parts for it, but once I get it all going then I can devote time to these other ones. You gotta take it one at a time. I got all these projects, I got that track that needs a start switch I've been waiting way too long for. That's been sitting there for a long time. There's this little wheel horse. I've been working on putting this, uh, this battery box on it so I can run that around without having to worry about stalling it out and getting the charger. And I got this huge beast, Ford 881 diesel. So, yeah, I got a lot of stuff, a lot of projects, a lot of things to take up my time. So, anyway, that, that's it. These are, these are my four new saws that I got for $150 today. I was asking $170, and I chiseled them down a little bit. I had to drive like an hour and a half to get them. It was kind of a pain, but you know, it was worth it in the end. These are some pretty cool saws. Hopefully I can uh, bring these to a show one day or something. Antique Machinery Show. Connecticut Antique Machinery Show or Zagray Farm Museum or I don't know what else. But there they are. If any of you guys have any uh, any information on any, any of these saws or if you can get me information or Anything like that, that would be great. Is uh, the uh, resources for these saws are pretty limited. You can't find too much information on them or parts, except for these. These are newer. You probably find parts pretty easily for them. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.